You like that? Hi, everybody. Good evening. Doing a little massage tonight with some spa music. Hi, everybody. It's Amy and Coco. Look how nice everything's all healed. Your daddy's all better. Hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. <laughs> So precious, such an angel, such an angel. <laughs> she just, she can't get close enough. Everybody's winding down. It's been a busy, busy, busy day. Been going since six. Actually, it was up at 4.30 this morning. It's been a long day, a very long day. Mama, I'm backing up and you keep getting closer. <laughs> Coco is available for adoption. Coco is five, six years of age. She's completely vetted and perfectly, perfectly healthy. She came to us as an owner surrender. She is a Frenchie. She weighs 16, 17 pounds, full size. She's tiny, tiny. She is potty trained. She is dog friendly. She's cat friendly. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I am not flipping this on me because it's been a very, very... <gasps> what? Are you getting excited? What? Get you. I'm going to get you. Where's Coco? Coco. Coco. Where'd you go? Where? Ah, ah, did you? <laughs> are you? Are you playing? Are you doing zoomies? Are you doing zoomies? Are you doing zoomies? I'm going to get you. 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 What you, what you do? What you do? I go get you. I go get you. <laughs> She's so much fun. She's so much fun. She makes me laugh all day and night, honestly. Coco. Coco. Our adoption fee is 300. We have spent $7,000 on her to make her whole and healthy. And we are looking for the most perfect, perfect, perfect home. Coco, come here. Coco, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I can't. I love all dogs, but I'll tell you, this one, oh boy. She is a trip. A trip. She's so much fun. Where are you? <gasps> what are you doing? Why you leave me? Why you leave me? You don't want to come play with me out there? I know, but I get it, Robin. The Frenchies are so much fun, so comical. Especially this one. 
she's so t- I've never ever ever met such I mean such a tiny tiny Frenchie look at her look at, this. Look at her stance she's just hysterical she has the quirkiest funniest sweetest personality smart as a whip she listens are you so smart yeah you want to go in your bed come on let's go into bed come on let's go to bed I'm gonna get you I'm gonna get you I'm gonna get you gonna dance for me I'm gonna get you I'm gonna get you so smart like so smart get your baby bring your baby to bed do you want to get the baby and bring it to bed come on come on I'm not flipping the camera around tonight on me there's no way no how Mm-mm, it's been a long day today it's been a very long day today oh I figured before I shut down for the night which I'm getting ready to do in about 10 minutes here um yeah our adoption fee is 300 that is nothing <laughs> that is nothing like I said we spent seven thousand dollars on her we have all the medical to show um we are certainly not in it for an adoption fee we are in it to find her the best perfect forever home thank you so much joanne thank you i've just been doing a lot of work and just constant go 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 today so um yeah tired very tired and tomorrow is a new day we have a lot of stuff going on tomorrow right coco coco bean Coco Bean, Coco Chanel. What else do we call you? She just can't get close enough. She just wants to hold me and sit on me and love and love and touch. It's all she wants. This is all she wants. Yeah, you're so perfect, mommy. I know. You just need a forever person. I'm sick and tired of seeing her in this pen. Um, I want her to be in a home. I want her to be on somebody's lap all the time, sleeping in bed, where she's going to be loved, adored, and spoiled. It's what she deserves. She so deserves her person. It has to be perfect or she's going nowhere. Coconut. Coconut. They're calling you coconut. And this butt, I can't with this. I can't with, oh, that butt, that butt, that butt, that butt. Well, you look scared. <laughs> you look scared. <laughs> she always has that look. Because that eye is an old trauma, which we had her um, taken care of with the eye specialist. She can see perfectly fine. It has healed. She's not going to need any medication. She's just finishing up her one drop. Um, and then once that drop is finished, she's done. There's no meds on this. She's, oh, you want to get up higher? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mommy, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to be brave. Don't look at me. Don't judge me. I'm going to try to keep myself up. <laughs> she's holding me. Look at this. Oh, mom, I love you so. So please, guys, share this video and help me find Coco, the most perfect home where she's going to be the princess be able to sleep in bed with her mommy or daddy she's a dream she deserves the best they all do right mama you do you had a rough life she was definitely used for breeding um she was not loved and adored like she deserved to be but that's over now because you're spoiled here <laughs> And you are loved and you are adored. You are so loved and adored here, aren't you? Yes. I could just do this all night with her. All night long. This is all she wants. We are in Loxahatchee, Florida, which is Palm Beach area. Again, Coco is 16, 17 pounds. She's a Frenchie. She's completely vetted and healthy. Um, she came in as an owner surrender. She had her shortening of her palate, her nostrils opened, her spay, her vaccines, her microchip, her eye taken care of, and now she's ready 
for her perfect happily ever after. So please, if anybody is that person and you think that you can give her the most amazing life, and spoil her rotten because we're going to do all the meet and greets and you have to approve and yes and the home check yep and make sure it's perfect just for you it has to be coco just for you i know it has to be that's you in there <laughs> so guys hold on this is it this is the girl this is the girl right here. She's waiting. You can reach out to 100 plus PLUS abandoned dogs at gmail.com or you can call 877 506 8100. She is so perfect and so sweet and so submissive and so loving in every single way. And guys, we still have beautiful, beautiful, our Bichon Estelle, who's sitting in a room at Rescue House One where she would thrive in somebody's home. All she wants is her person. Um, she's alone at night in a room. It's so not what we want for these babies. So please, if you're interested in a beautiful female Bichon that's sweet as sugar, please consider opening up your home to Estelle, who is, a again, a perfect Bichon that was found roaming the streets. She had a complete dental. Estelle is getting spayed and she is ready. She's ready. And you know, we have a lot of medical right now. Sorry, mommy. We have um, Chewy who had his echocardiogram today and the echo was $900 today. Uh, just recovering from his 2000, 3000, whatever it was at Blue Pearl. I don't even have the total bill. Getting ready for Chewy to go in for his big, big, big procedure between five and 7,000. I, I wanted to jump on and say thank you to everybody. I know we've been asking a lot lately, but we've taken in a lot of medicals and a lot of criticals that need us. So in order, in order for us to say yes and save all these babies, the only way is um, by asking for your support. So please consider making a donation. The donate button is on this video. The donate button is on the video Tiffany did today um, after Chewy's echo cardiogram. And we're very grateful that he's on a couple meds and he'll be able to uh, go under for his procedure to give him a better life and a more comfortable life. That boy has endured the worst unimaginable life and he deserves nothing but the best that we can give him. And in order to do that, it's money, 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 money. That's it, that's all it is. Money, 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 money. Right, Coco? What would we have done without getting you all that you needed? You wouldn't be able to breathe, huh? You'd still be snorting all the time and not being able to run around and play because you can't breathe. I know, we made you all better. Yes, we did. And that's what we do for these dogs. When we put our hands on them, we make them a promise and we keep our promise to them so they can have quality of life. We may, we may rescue less, not taking in loads of dogs at one time because we're taking in the highest criticals that need us and cost us a fortune. But we are making a huge, huge, huge difference in the ones that we touch um, I could take in a litter of puppies, eight dogs, and, you know, flip them. Um, you know, we still do our due diligence with home checks and meet and greets and all that, but it's, you know, easier. It's not usually high cost unless, God forbid, they have parvo or something like that. <clears throat> but, oh, she can zoom, Sophie. You have no idea. When she gets excited, she races around every corner. She's like risky business. You know that movie? Oh my God. Does she run around the corners? She's hysterical. Hysterical. She's so much fun. Oh, that's a nice one to play with. You bringing that one to bed? Come on. That's nice. I like that one. That's a nice one, Coco. Yeah. You have all your babies? There's one. You don't like him? Hmm? You, like, you like that one? Okay. Go ahead. That's a nice one. Pretty colors, Coco. Good. Yes, Tom Cruise. Exactly. And I'll hear a little rustling around when she's in her pen. 
and I peek over and she's playing with her toys and entertaining herself. She doesn't chew anything. She does not destructive. She just plays with herself. <laughs> she just plays. Oh, you love that crunchy crinkle, huh? You love that big crinkle one. Oh, that's a good one, Coco. That's a good one, Coco. She's so precious. You have no idea. If you spent 15, 20 minutes with 10 minutes with this dog, you'd be done. Trust me. I'm not sitting in a pen on the floor on a dog bed at 9 o'clock at night for no reason. No, because I can't get enough of you. I've made my rounds. Everybody gets equal time. And then I end the night with Miss Coco. Huh, babes? <gasps> Look who it is! The famous Mr. Monopoly Man! The Monopoly Man! Do you remember him? You carried him outside to go peepees. Yeah, that video was funny. <laughs> that video was very funny with Mr. Monopoly Man. Here, you take the ball. Take the ball. There you go. That's your friend. Yeah, that's your friend. Get your friend. <laughs> I can't. I don't know what it is about Mr. Monopoly Man that makes me laugh. That's Mr. Monopoly Man. That's him, Coco. That's your friend. That's him. <laughs> that's your friend. That's him. <laughs> oh, hi, Barbara. Hello. Happy Friday evening. Winding down, I was just saying, and I thought I would do a little <clears throat> late night, quick little update video of Coco. Hold on, guys. Had to ban up. Thank you for asking. Brody's doing really, really good. Um, I only saw him once today in the afternoon. I hate leaving him. Carol came home. She, she's with him tonight. So I can't wait to go home. I got the troll. Thank you. Um, yeah, I take in the definite not so perfect. Not so perfect. Take in the ones that really need us, Jill. That really need It's exhausting. And it's a lot of worry and a lot of money. But it's so rewarding. Um, yeah, so Brody, thank you. He's doing really, really good. Really good. I have an appointment with the oncologist uh, next week, so we'll see. It just blows my mind. I don't even want to put it out there. <clears throat> How a dog can feel so amazing and, you know, thriving and happy and, and just in every way. And then there, you're told that your dog has a couple of months to live. So it just blows your mind. It plays with your head. I'm not giving into a couple months. I'm gonna believe that he's gonna be here for a lot, lot, lot longer. A lot longer. What are you doing? You finding a comfy little spot? Are you burrowing? Are you gonna burrow, Santa? What about him? You wanna bring him to bed? Is he your bed buddy? Huh, is that your bed buddy? What? What is it, Coco? Look at those ears. Thank you for sharing. Appreciate it. Um, so again, I'm going to do some still photos of Coco and <clears throat> of um, Estelle. Those are the two right now um, that I'm really, really, really focusing on trying to get them adopted. Chewy has a long way to go right now. We know we have Blake and Sam and Sue um, and Albert. And then, of course, our regulars here. We have our beautiful Milana, a 14-year-old Yorkie that really, really, really would thrive in a home as well. She does not, she's in with the Muppets. She's sharing their room, but she really wants a person. She just wants a person. She just wants to lay with you. Um, she's always looking for a person. She's missing somebody and it's really sad. I know she has the cutest tush, doesn't she, Stephanie? I can't, I can't with her. Wilbur's fantastic. He had a great day today. I just did his order. Um, he went to bed with his last snack for the night, some a banana and some grapes, and he crawled under his comforters, and he's out like a light. He was out from 6 o'clock till noon, came up, and then at 3.30, 4 o'clock, he went back out, had dinner, and he came back up at almost 8 o'clock. So he's in bed for the night, and I won't see him until the morning. He's sound asleep. He's so easy. 
He's been really good. Uh, the other house, the end of next month, the end of uh, October. We should have everybody up here and done with house one. That's my plan. End of October. Come here. Why are you over there? I'm in here. No. Get, 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 get. <clears throat> so that's, we have a lot, lot. Girls have to start packing up that house, getting rid of a lot of junk, a lot of accumulated over the years. So all that stuff has to be emptied, and then we have to get a mover and load it up. I don't want a lot of crap up here because we don't have... No, the frogs don't go near Wilbur. Wilbur doesn't go near them at all. Oh, no. Mm -mm, not at all. Wilbur doesn't go near anything like that. Mm -mm. There was the biggest toad last night when I was closing down the house. I am telling you, it was literally the size of my fist. I took pictures and a video. Um, I couldn't catch him. I couldn't get him. I think I would freak out because he's so big, too. I just, ugh, ugh, I wish Keith was here last night for that reason. I can't. He was humongous, huge, the biggest one I've ever seen. And he was out last night when I was shutting down. So they're still out. That's another reason I'm glad the other dogs are coming up. Um, the end of next month, the toads should be uh, going away around that time, hopefully. But you just have to watch, you know. We have to watch every dog. We don't let them out after dark. It's just not worth it. Not worth it. Hello, Miss Gina Miller. How are you? Gina. Gina, Gina, Gina. Give my love to Marshall Tucker and Radar. Look at this face. She looks so good. Oh my God, Joanne. You know what's crazy? I am going to be 55 and I got stung one time, once in my life by a bee. And it was so painful. I must have been allergic. Well, I didn't, like my throat didn't close or anything, but it was my finger. When I tell you my finger blew up and it was killing me for like a week. I never realized how painful a bee sting is. It is awful. Awful. I'm so sorry about your arm. I hope you're feeling better. I hope you have put something on it. Oh, I know. She's delicious. She's so ridiculous. I don't want to turn it on me because it's been a rough long day. Um, there she is. Mama, stay there. Stay right there so everybody can see you. You keep leaving the video. You do. You keep believing it. Come up. Come on. Come on. Uppy. Come on up here. Uppy. This is all she wants. She wants to crawl up you. She wants to get as close as she, <laughs> as she can. She's on my face. As close as she can. And get a million kisses. And love, 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 love. Mwah. Mwah. I'm going to get you. I'll go get you. You don't know what to do without a love because you never had it. I can tell. You don't know. She throws her head back. <laughs> Look at her. She's on my head. She's literally taking her paws, climbing on my head. I love you. I love you so much. So much. Oh, you love your ears. Oh, that feels so nice. Oh, Lynn, I'm so glad it made your evening. I know you need the good stuff at the end of the day, right? Turn the TV on. It's nothing but sadness and madness. So... I have spa music and cocoa bean. And she's climbing all over me. She can't get enough. <laughs> what do you give me the stank eye? What did I say? What did I say? Hold on. Oh my God. I can't move. Oh. Okay. I'm getting up. Cocoa bean, it's time for beds. You have to go sleepy, okay? My glasses are behind my head. Here, you have a million babies. Here. You've got your blankie. You got to go sleepy. Tomorrow's a new day. You need your beauty rest. <laughs> Give me that belly. I go get the belly. You blow on your belly. I always blow and kiss her belly. I'm gonna get this belly. Give me that. Give me it. I go get it. I go get it. 
I got your belly. I got it. I got your belly. The famous, like every time I look at this, I have a famous Mr. Monopoly man. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Yeah, that's your friend. <laughs> Everybody, my phone's going to die. I'm tired. I'm going home to my Brody. Everybody in this house is sound asleep. Tomorrow's another day. I have to be here nice and early. And I hope everybody has a great evening. Again, I wanted to jump on and say thank you to everybody for donating to help us. If you have, we know who you are and we appreciate you so very much. Um, we're still in need of your help. So please, please, please make a donation. The side eye, I know, Rachel, me too, every time. Come on, in there. Let's go. Night, night. Come on. Uh-uh. Let's go. Come on. In the pen. Come on. I know. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Wee. Don't make me. Don't. It kills me to do this, Mama. I know. But I have to go home too and get some sleepies and you're going to be snoring in two minutes. I woke you up for this video. I will hug Brody. Thank you so much, Rachel. So much. I need to go home and see him. Everybody get a good, good, good night's sleep. Hold on. Got another bot. Um, I'm going to end the night with getting another bot off the video. <clears throat> Have a good night's sleep, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. This is Amy and Coco. Please share. Help me find Coco the perfect home. I can't stand. I don't want her here anymore. I want her in a home. Look at this. I have to leave, and, and it just kills me. And she wants to be with a person. She wants to sleep on your chest, nuzzle under your arm, get kisses, make you laugh every day, fill your heart. Oh, good night. 100 plus. Abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Sweet dreams, everybody.